Oh my word, a flat earth is finally going to explain tides. <gasps> tides with water that doesn't bend. <sighs> this is going to be a very difficult video for the wizards. Oh dear me. Well, let's roll the intro and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, um, good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Sarcastic Bomb and welcome to the channel. <sighs> How do I get back 15 minutes of my life? Because I thought, oh, you can talk about tides, you might actually get in depth, I better watch it first so you can plan some bits out. Yeah, he just talked about tides and tidal nodes. Do you want to see his explanation for tides? <laughs> Hold on to your asses. I have a few speculations about what tidal nodes are. They could be a sea life living deep under the water that's affecting the water, the movement of the water somehow. I've put in the background my favorite sea life, which is the Kraken. It's also, the, it's, it's a fantasy sea life. Yep, so obviously every day the whales are all getting together and swimming round and round and round because you need something really big to create those sort of uh, currents, don't you? At least, at least he's saying that Krakens aren't real. A bit like flat earth, really. Uh, or plate boundaries. It could just be where tectonic plates collide and where they're moving against each other. The same thing that causes volcanoes, seems to cause volcanoes and earthquakes, could also be causing the tides. And ah, yes, plate tectonics. That other well-known thing that flat earthers have debunked and shown how it works on a flat earth. Oh, hang on. Um, shit. And the third speculation is not my speculation, but it's the speculation that everybody accepts, and that's that the moon is causing the tides. And for everybody, for this to be the consensus, the scientific consensus, is extremely embarrassing. It is extremely embarrassing to me that this is the best that science can give us. And this is a, <laughs> a model of what the tides would look like if it was the moon. Now, it is a very generalized model that doesn't really take into account actual tidal patterns when you put land masses in the way. It just shows bulge, unbulge, bulge, unbulge. That's basically it. The fact, though, you think it's more laughable for the moon to be causing the tides than it is for sea monsters. Or sea life, shall we call it. Um, yeah, so in your world, whales are spinning around really fast causing tides. Or it's the big fuck off thing in the sky with gravity, which is detectable. Hmm. Which one seems more laughable to you? Now, I think we can uh, skip the rest of this video because it just ends with basically a montage of pictures of the sea and some music. And then saying, No, they think it's the moon. How silly are they? It's obviously the sea creatures. I, I, I paraphrase the end bit, but yeah. So I think we're going to have to look at somebody else. And this video comes from Everett Anderson, who's already covered this one. I was like, ooh, they look crazy. Hey, I'm going to give you a quick testimony of how I became a Flat Earth believer. Um, first of all, thank you for joining me and uh, coming to my channel. And I hope you find it enlightening and spiritually uplifting, fun. Now we're definitely going to find it fun, in the slightly dark humour kind of sense that I'm going to laugh at the car accident that caused the brain injury that led you to becoming a flat earther. But I'm British. We laugh at that stuff. Uh, I like to throw a variety of genres together and uh, try to keep it light. Although I know sometimes earth plane, well... Not sometimes, but the Earth plane <laughs> um, uh, topic is very, very controversial. No, it's not controversial. It's just downright fucking stupid. And hotly debated. But uh, please leave comments, but be nice or else I'll have to delete you. I don't want to do that. Now, comments you leave on someone's channel should always be nice and productive. 
Luckily, this is my channel. I can say what the fuck I want, and we're going to laugh and pull apart your stupid innate ramblings of stupid innateness. Is innate the right word? I think it is. But you know the important thing? I don't care. Thank you. So, um, my quick testimony is that I'm a flat earth believer. I became a flat earth believer um, out of the blue. Let me explain that. I was just on the um, YouTube one day and then just boom, it hit me. Ah, see, it explains it all. Once again, it's YouTube's fault and the shelf that was above the computer that fell on her head. The earth is flat. And I was looking through, it just came to me. And so I was looking through uh, YouTube and I came across Rob Skiba. God rest his soul, he is definitely at rest in peace. Now we could be horrible at this case, we could be nice. I think you all know I'm going to be horrible, but just when I could be nice. Chris Moose is watching me, he might tell me off. But anyway, yeah, Rob Skiba, the person who lied to the internet and said, yes, COVID's not real, this and that and the other, and then lied about all the flat earth stuff because he's there to make money and just lied to people. And he's at rest. Well, no, because if you're going on the Christian belief and shit like that, he's in hell. <laughs> it's, just, it's as simple as that. He was blatantly lying to people on the internet. He's he's gone down if you're that in following the Christian belief. So yeah, at rest might mean he's getting poked in the ass by a devil with a pitchfork. So I suppose there is that. Oh, I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but and um, so it was confirmation for me and. So I did a lot of research and digging deeper, came across other Flat Earth channels. And so my journey has been a two and a half year journey since being a Flat Earth believer. And I think how the plant, the seed got planted was when I was a first grader, it was 1969 when uh, the fake moon landing occurred. And, of course, all of us are indoctrinated. All of us are, are, are conditioned. Of course, we can't forget the indoctrination and the conditioning that we receive in school and via television and media and things like that. No confirmation bias via YouTube for you for all this and finding other people who've had significant brain damage in their lives and going, Earth, Earth is flat! Okay, how big is this? We don't know. How do planes work on a flat Earth? Well, they constantly do this and they do that and they do the planes. Ooh. <sighs> Any basic level of research into flat Earth should lead you to it can't be flat because of reason X, Y, and Z. If you still think it's flat after doing research... No, all you've actually been doing is searching for your confirmation fucking bias. I suppose that's why you said belief at the start and you believe it's flat earth because you don't have any proof for a flat earth. You're just going, oh, but God and religion and religious -y God. <sighs> Dear me. So um, that's it. I believe it was a revelation from the Lord God himself who opened up my mind with the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, Yeshua, is our creator, and uh, this is what he created, the earth plane. Ah yes, the Christian God, who's well known for his inability to create entire universes and thousands and millions of galaxies, but instead is limiting himself to a fishbowl style sort of terrarium thing where he can look down at us and go, whew, at least they're not burning people at the stake anymore for talking about me. <sighs> There's really nothing of context in this video, is there? And we've got low much time left. I could do at least another five minutes. Not of her video, but of just somebody else. We need to pick someone who's at least got three brain cells and only moderate brain damage, though. I know just the person. Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debate and debunkers. I'm going fishing for clues to see whether we find any proof we live on a globe or indeed a flat earth. And uh, what we're going to do is something very simple that anyone can try out 
any, oops, any, anywhere. And uh, just looking at any body of water anywhere on the earth proves that um, we can't be living on a globe. Maybe um, this is going to be stupider than the last two. I'm, I'm not sure. Should we, can we crack a beer open yet? What's, what's on? Ten to three? I probably could. I could probably save Phuket. For... That's what we're going to do. Wait there. Ah, yes, back. Beer. Now, we're not going to do my last Crafty Devil beer, because I forgot to put it in the fridge. We also don't fancy the idea of drinking that really hazy, pale beer that they have. So, so, bit of an evil one, because I've got it on draft. We're going to drink Tall Tales, um, which is another pale ale, which is in an Australian glass, yes, I know, from... <laughs> <laughs> Buckcomb Brewery. <laughs> Such a fucking child. Again, it's another citrus beer. <laughs> fucking all these citrus fucking beers. I suppose I could have drunk the icebreaker. Never mind. It's too late now to change. I've poured it. <sighs> I have drunk this before. It is nice. It is a very citrusy again one beer though. I don't know what it is about citrus and beers at the moment, but they all seem to just like, yeah. Put all the citrus in. Citrus for the win. So no, no. I want to taste some hops. I want a bitter. I don't want a sour. I feel like being in school and going, Oh, yeah, nerd sours, yeah. No, no, that's not how beer should be. But yeah, it's nice. It's refreshing. It's fucking cold. It's not a real ale. I will be fair. It is a cask rather than a keg. Keg rather than... <sighs> Mine never works with this. But it's nice. If you see it on draft, it's well worth a go. It's The story behind it is all about the um, crocodile in Gloucester. Was it an alligator? Big lizardy thing that's not a dinosaur. So, yeah. Basically, I just wanted something that will end the video on a couple of minutes. Still good my advent calendar video. And that's today's video. <laughs> There's only so much on Flat Earth you can put up with, isn't there? It just gets fucking stupid. Right. Love you all. Leave you all with that one. I've been the Sarcastic Barman. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Big shout out to everyone who members, Patreons. Anyone who just leaves a comment. You're all very valued. You all make these videos possible. Shares are also good. Feel free. Look at this nutter drinking beer. We'll see you all soon. Good night.